हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी एविडेंसेस फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो so far we have seen what are coordination compounds how they can be distinguished from the double salts we have seen various types of ligands and we have also studied the nomenclature of coordination compounds but does coordination compounds really exist so let's see evidences for the formation of complexes or coordination compounds the first evidence is change in color for example if we take any cobalt salt generally these cobalt salts are pink in color if we dissolve it in water it will give a light pink color solution to this solution if we add hcl solution it will give a blue color complex this blue color complex is of cocl42 minus suppose there is no formation of a complex then cobalt solution would have remained pink in color and the change in color indicates a change in the formation of a compound in this case if cobalt has reacted with the chlorine to form cocl2 then the color of the solution would have remained pink but the change in color from pink to blue indicates there is a formation of a coordination compound let's move to the second evidence it is change in the solubility here i will take the example of silver suppose kcn solution is added to silver it will form a precipitate of agcn now we can see the solubility has been changed and a soluble compound has been changed into a precipitate if we continue the addition of cyanide into the same solution it will dissolve the precipitate due to the formation of diacyanoargentate complex we can see for both the complexes there is a change in the solubility that means there is a formation of new compounds and these are due to the formation of coordination compounds the third factor is conductivity measurements here i will take the example of ferrous chloride to this solution if we add edta solution it will form iron edta complex In the case of reactant we can see there are three ions present in the solution these three ions will have different transport number that is the ability to travel in the solution therefore their conductivity will be different when this fecl2 reacts with the edta and it forms a complex the solution consists of only one ion as the number of ions have been changed the conductivity of the solution will also change This change in the conductivity indicates there is a formation of a coordination compound. Let's move to the next factor that is change in pH. Here I will take the example of cobalt salt. To this cobalt salt solution if we add EDTA which is a hexadentate ligand as we know that hexadentate means there are six points of attachments in this EDTA ligand this nitrogen has a lone pair of electron another nitrogen also has a lone pair of electron so this is the first point of attachment this is the second point of attachment in addition to this there are four hydroxyl groups if these four hydrogens are lost these four oxygens can bind to the central metal atom in this way there is third fourth fifth and sixth point of attachment in this way when edta is added to the cobalt solution four hydrogens are lost and let's see how edta arrange itself to bind the central metal atom with six points of attachment cobalt atom is at the center with octahedral coordination the two nitrogen atoms are arranged in this way now we know that there are four acetyl groups in edta these acetyl groups will arrange itself in such a way that it will bind the cobalt atom very firmly for example the first acetate ion will hold the cobalt ion like this the second will hold in this way the third is in this format and the fourth acetyl group will hold the cobalt atom from the sixth position in this way edta holds the central cobalt atom and releases four hydrogen ions in this way h plus ion concentration increases and the ph of the solution decreases so this change in ph indicates there is a formation of a coordination compound let's see the fifth evidence ion exchange studies there are actually two types of ion exchange resins first is cation exchange resin and second is anion exchange resin cation exchange resin consists of replaceable h plus ions whereas anion exchange resin consists of replaceable oh minus ions 
Now suppose cation exchange resin solution is there in the burette or column. And now if the cobalt 2 plus solution is added from the top, the cobalt 2 plus ions will replace the H plus ions. Cobalt 2 plus ions will be held by the cation exchange resin and H plus ions will be released from the bottom. Now this cobalt 2 plus ions are held by the cation exchange resin column, but it will not be held by the anion exchange resin as the charge on the cobalt 2 plus and OH minus are different. Any ion exchange resin will held any specific ion only when their charges are same. If the charges are different, those ions will not be held by those ion exchange resins. Now if we take COCl42- which is a complex of cobalt, if this solution is added to cation exchange resin, due to difference in the charges, it will not be held by the cation exchange resin, but it will be held by the anion exchange resin due to similarity in the charges. As cobalt complex is exchanged by the anion exchange resin, it indicates the formation of a complex or formation of a coordination compound. Let's move to the last evidence, potentiometric studies. For example, if I take FeCl3 solution, to this FeCl3 solution if EDTA is added, it will form Fe EDTA complex. In case of reactants, the Fe metal is free in solution, therefore it will give some reading in the potentiometer. But when it reacts with the EDTA and forms Fe EDTA complexes, these Fe metals are held by the EDTA ligand. Therefore, there will be change in the concentration of ion and hence there will be a change in the electrode potential of the system. So, this change in the electrode potential of the system with the concentration of EDTA indicates the formation of complex or formation of coordination compounds. So, these all evidences prove that there is a formation of a complex or there is existence of coordination compounds when metal ions react with the specific ligands. In the next video, we will see Werner's theory, the Alfred Werner who was awarded with the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1913 for his hard and untiring efforts for over a period of 20 years. Along with that, we will also study effective atomic number. If you like my video, click on like. Do share and subscribe my channel. If you want to mention something or ask something, mention it in the comment box. Also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos. And keep watching Basic Chemistry. Thank you.